YouTube. This is Praxis Prepper. When it comes to SHTF, uh, food sustainability is one of the big questions that people tackle, and uh, everyone's got sort of their own approach to that. Uh, the three main ways that people address it are uh, food storage, stockpiling stuff, which isn't really a sustainable solution unless you don't plan on living very long. It, eventually, you'll go through your food stores. The other two are you know, hunting, trapping, and, uh, and gardening. Uh, Hunting and trapping I'm not that big into. I, I just don't depend on it as a food source. I'm, I'm, I'm a vegetarian now, so it's not really of that much use to me. Um, and, uh, you know, when, when SHTF happens, if it happens, all the, all the local woods around people are going to be teeming with amateur hunters <laughs> that are all out scavenging for things. And uh, it just it doesn't seem like a particularly good situation to put yourself in with a bunch of people that are untrained walking around with weapons. Um, and then uh, on top of that, you know, they're gonna they're gonna max out the the resource in, in in very short order anyway. So gardening to me seems like the the big one that is actually a way of uh, you know doing something in a sustainable way. Um, but gardening is challenging. There's a lot to know about it. Um, and let's say you know some event happens and you know you're behind the curve. You don't really know what to do yet, um, and you don't have a big root cellar that's all full of stuff. Let's have to say it happens in the middle of the winter, and you can't just start you know throwing stuff in the ground. How about this as a solution? Sprouting. I do sprouting now all the time. It's a great way of getting fresh greens into your diet uh, when you're not where you're not having to you know, run out to the grocery store uh, all the time. You know. Leafy greens like lettuce, they don't last that long in the refrigerator. Uh, it, so there's a lot of spoilage associated with getting a big head of lettuce and, you know, are you going to eat it all? I know lettuce is not the most nutritious food I'm just using as an example. Um, but sprouting, I sprout uh, seeds every other day, start a new batch. This is uh, alfalfa. There's some mung beans and some lentils in there. Um, and it gives me fresh greens for, uh, you know, salads or sandwiches. I almost never do salads. I'm a vegetarian that doesn't do salads that much. Wow. Um, <laughs> uh, it, it, you know, it, it's, a, it's a great source of uh, uh, nutrients, and they're always fresh, and I'm not having spoilage. Uh, but every two days is how, is how frequently I do it. Uh, I've got a, a great tray that I picked up on Amazon. And uh, the way that I do it is I'll, I'll, I'll begin some sprouts and then I'll be watering them. Uh, and then when I see those start to have roots coming out, then I'll start the, you know, another day. And then when I see those start to have little roots coming out, which again takes about two days, you know, I'll start them. And uh, after a week, I've, I've got sprouts ready to go and then you just rotate through them. Uh, these can be stored for a long time. I, I've had alfalfa and mung bean seeds that are three years old and they still sprout just fine. No problems whatsoever. I, I keep them in glass, try to keep them dry, put them in the basement, uh, keep them dark. Um, no problems at all. And uh, fresh, fresh greens all the time in the middle of winter. Completely non-season dependent. All you need is to add, just add water. So what do you think of that idea? I think it works excellent as a way of getting some emergency greens into your diet or just as a part of your regular everyday routine like it is in mine. What do you think? Comment below. Is this nuts? Is it sustainable? I guess I am stockpiling seeds. At some point, I'd have to put some on the ground and you know get some seeds off it. But it seems like a good idea to me. Let me know your thoughts. See you next time.